Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nasreen Parasale. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you need to apply for the BARC examination, which is also called as OCES 2023 examination. Okay, so many of you are having a trouble in identifying this website. I have given the link in the description below. Just click that, that particular link, okay, and you can able to apply. So first, you need to click the click here for new registration button. So first, you need to register, and then only you can able to log in. After clicking this button, there are totally seven steps are there. First is you need to enter your preliminary information, and next you need to enter your basic information. Next, you need to enter your qualification detail. The fourth step is that they will be asking few screening questions. Next, fifth step is that you need to upload few document that they are asking and the sixth step is that the final preview in case if you want to change few information means you can use that particular option and the last step is that payment step okay so totally seven steps are there okay so first in preliminary information you need to enter your uh, whether you are a mr or miss or mrs and next they will be asking the applied examination discipline okay so since i had applied under biosciences i have clicked biosciences okay so based on your discipline you can check out the applied examination discipline next you need to enter the last qualifying degree so i my last qualified degree was msc so i had entered msc Okay, so it depends upon you. Next, you need to enter the first name and you need to re-enter the first name by confirming the first name. Okay, and uh, if you have middle name, you can enter them and if you have last name, you can enter them. So, after you enter, automatically the full name will be entered in that particular box over here. Okay, and they have given name enter in the online application form should match exactly with the request document that is photo ID to be produced at the time of examination and the time of interview. So, my choice is that have the ID card that you will be taken at the time of examination. Just type the name as such given in your Aadhaar card, voter ID card or PAN card. Okay, next step is that you need to enter your mobile mobile number and you need to confirm your mobile number okay so if you want to give any other alternate mobile number means you can give but that step is not compulsory okay so after giving your mobile number they will be asking you to type your email id okay so you can give your email id which you are currently active or the email id which you had signed in your phone because all information will be they will be sending you through your email id and then you need to confirm your email id and and for both for your mobile number they will be sending you the otp and you need to verify them and for email address also they will be sending you your activation link next you need to enter the security code and you need to click the submit button okay so the next thing is that for your email address they will be sending you your unique application number and password will be sent to you okay so you can use the user id or email address that they had sent to you and you can enter the password that they had given and you need to enter your security code and you need to click your submit okay so then you can go for the verification process so now they will be asking you to verify both your mobile number so in your mobile number they will be sending you the otp okay so click that otp and they will be asking you to enter the security code and you need to enter the security code so you need to re-enter the otp so you will be getting a mobile number verified option over here next you need to enter your email address so the, generally the email that they have sent will be in the spam folder okay so please check your spam folder of your email address where they will be giving a verification link so if you simply click that particular link then they will be giving you a message your account has been activated next day you need to enter the security code and you need to click proceed button okay so you will be getting a message like that both the mobile number both your email address are verified thank you next step is you need to enter your basic detail like they will be asking you how you can how you know about a bar examination so if you know from social media network mean you can give or else if you know from newspaper means you can give that particular thing and next they will be asking you whether you are possessing a essential education or qualification requirement another criteria is based on that so just go through read of the pd of the advertisement that they had entered and if you had possessing the essential education qualification means you yes and next click your gender and click your category whether your gender category means gender category and obc ncl means click the obc and scst means you can click scst 
they will be asking you few other things that you can click yes or no that depends upon you. Next you need to enter your nationality and next they will be asking whether you want to avail the fees exemption. So they, for women, for AC, ST, transgender and for few other candidates they are exempted from paying the application fee of rupees 500. You need to if you are a female candidate means please click yes another category means you can click yes okay. Next they will be asking you fee exam criteria since I had a I am a female I will be clicking uh, female or else if you in case if you are transgender means you can click that particular option next the other card number you can give or that that's not a compulsory thing next you need to enter your personal detail so first you need to enter the date of birth and automatically age will be automatically calculated next they'll be asking you the parent name so please give your father name correctly next they'll be asking you to enter the correspondent address next they'll be asking you to uh, enter the permanent address. So, here you can able to see. So, for woman candidate and candidate belonging to SCST and candidate belonging to transgender category or physically challenged, they, they know pay application fee okay so after clicking the permanent address since i'm a female candidate here uh, they didn't mention the amount that i need to pay if you are a male candidate or if you belong to some other category means they'll be giving you a respective amount that you need to pay next you need to click save and next the third step you need to enter the qualification degree so first you need to enter the pre-qualification education that is they'll be asking you which school you have studied for your 10th standard and they'll be asking you at which particular date and month and year that you are Pass. So, for getting this particular thing, you can get your 10th standard mark statement. So, in the 10th standard mark statement, it will be giving the month and year of pausing. And next, they will be asking whether the aggregate mark is in percentage or CGPA. If it is percentage, means you can click that particular option. And in the next column, you need to type your percentage mark. And same for 12th standard also, they will be asking your school name and the date of passing and your aggregate marks in percentage of CGPA. You need to enter the aggregate mark in percentage of CGPA. Next is they will be asking you the graduation degree that is your BSc degree or bachelor's degree. Okay. Next they will be asking whether physics was one of the subject or paper since I had done my biotech I didn't study physics. And next question is that whether chemistry or biochemistry or agriculture chemistry was one of the paper of the subject or paper like that they will be asking you. Yes I had studied chemistry in my first year as an allied subject. So if you are studying either physics or chemistry means you can click any such option and you need to enter your university name or college name. Next they will be asking you which month and which year you had passed. Next they will be asking your aggregate mark whether in your college aggregate mark is provided in percentage or CGPA. After clicking that you need to enter your percentage mark and next they will be asking you the qualification education. Since in the, at the time of applying itself they will be asking uh, I had entered uh, my degree as MSc so that's why it automatically had given. I need to enter I had already passed my MSc examination so I will be clicking pass. In case if you are currently studying means you can click the option that has been given over there. Next, you need to enter your university name and as usual, everything is same. Okay. So, the fourth step is screening information. Okay. They will be asking, have you been screened on the basis of CBS or NISL? Okay. NISL, that is in case if you have got your uh, degree, that is master's degree in physics, chemistry or bioscience from the University of Mumbai Department of Atomic Energy or uh, Center of Excellence of Bioscience means, then you can apply, click that particular option. Or else if you have got your MSc degree from the NISL or Bhuvaneshwar means, you can click. For those students who, who got graduated from the CBS or uh, neither you need to have your CGP of 7.5 out of 10 scale okay so you need to click uh, since I had done I, I, I was not screen basis so I didn't uh, done my MSc uh, master's degree in CBS or uh, CBS or, or neither I'll be clicking no next they will be asking uh, the screening channel okay so you can either select one screening channel or more than one screening channel or more based on your eligibility so I had screen only I have online test so I'll be selecting online test in case if you are uh, selecting gate score also means they will be asking do you have any valid gate score since I had applied in biosciences I need to have a valid gate score in gate life sciences or gate biotechnology that's why they are asking the subject so if you are having a valid gate excel certificate means you can click that particular thing that should only gate 2023 scorecard alone will be accepted or else if you are currently appeared for the gate 2023 means you can click the particular option 
okay so the next thing is that since I, I had selected only the online test they will be asking me to provide the three examination city of my choice okay so you can either select a city from the same state or you can select from different state next you need to click see even next the fifth step is that you need to upload the document since for me they had asked me to upload the scanned photograph at the same time they had asked me to upload the scanned signature and there is a file size restriction your photo and the signature should be in the JPEG or JPG format and the size of photo should be between 20 to 50 KB and the size of the size of should be uh, 20 KB okay so simply you can choose from your desktop and make sure the file name of the photo should be without space okay so you should not have some other character only then it will be uploaded properly so just give type your name alone only then your photo will be uh, successfully uploaded if you have any trouble means you can go to internet center and then you need to type the security code and you need to click save and next okay so next the preview copy will be generated and in case if you want to do payment means and the payment port portal will be open so you can do your payment and that's it everything will be set automatically once you are completed and if you have given a final submit means then automatically they will be sending you the pdf copy of application to your register mail id okay so after that if you want to know any information means you need to log in by using your email id or user id or password which they had sent to your mail id okay so based on from that you can be able to gather more knowledge okay so thank you friends Thanks for watching this video.